Inshallah, this is the NSET trigonometry next class. Inshallah, we are going to discuss few uh, methods and formulas which I have not done in the earlier classes. Now, see here, we must by heart the values of sine 15, cos 15, tan 15, also 18 degrees and 36 degrees. If we by heart these 15 values, we can find out those values of 75. Suppose we want to have sine 75. So sine 75 can be written as cos 90 minus 75. Sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. Sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. So this will be cos 15. So cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. So if we if we know the value of sine 15, we can if we know the values of 15 degrees, we can find the value of 75 degrees also. And if we know the values of 18 degrees, 90 minus 18 is 72. We can find the values of 72 degrees. And if we know the values of 36 degrees, then we can know the values of 50, 54 degrees. Okay. So minimum we have to find by heart the values of 15 degrees, 18 degrees, and 36 degrees. Okay. So you re revise this, remember, remember these formulas with these values. Let me do one or two questions based on these formulas. Now see here. What is the question? Cos 255. We can write like this. Cos. This can be written as 270 minus 15. 270 minus 15 is 255. In the same way, you see a sign. 165 can be written as 180 minus 15 degrees. Now, this is cos 270 minus theta. Third quadrant minus. Okay cos 270 minus theta is minus sine theta is sine 15 plus sine 180 minus theta is sine theta this is sine 15 so this will get cancelled you get the value of 0 but sometimes we have to substitute the values of 15 and 75 then we can if we know the values we can substitute the values now you see the next question cos squared 3 pi by 5 plus cos squared 4 pi by 5 you see here we can write like this cos square this we can change like this pi minus to subtract this 5 minus 3 is 2 we can write like this 2 pi by 5 this is same if you take LCM 5 into pi 5 pi minus 2 pi is 3 pi I am reducing the angle okay you see watch carefully cos square how can we change pi minus you have to subtract this 5 minus 4 is 1 pi by 5 that is pi by 5 if you take LCM you will get the same value cos Find 2 pi 5 pi minus pi 4 pi. So you subtract this 5 minus 3 is 2. You have to write 2 here. So cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta. But you are having a square node that will become plus only cos square. See here 180 by 5. This will be 5 1s are 5 3 are no? 5 6 are 36. Now 2 pi by 5 means 36 into 2 72 degrees plus cos square. Pi minus cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta but square no plus only pi by 5 pi by 5 is 36 degrees now just now we have seen cos square let me change into sine 72 can be written as 90 minus 18 90 minus 18 i am writing this as it is because we have by heart this value now cos 90 minus theta sine theta this will be sine square 18 degrees plus cos square 36 degrees now sine 18 just now we have seen this is root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square and this value is root 5 plus 1 by 4 whole square see here 4 square 16 4 square 16 this will be 1 by 16 now if we expand this a minus b whole square is a square otherwise you see a square plus b square minus 2ab a square plus b square a square means root square cancel 5 1 square 1 plus 2ab 2 root 5 a square root square cancel plus b square 1 square 1 minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 cancel 5 plus 5 10 11 12 12 by 16 3 2 sorry 4 3 is a 4 4 so that is 3 by 4 is the answer now see here a quadratic equation whose roots are sine square 18 degrees and cos square so this is cos square 36 degrees this is cos squared 36 degrees. Now watch here. We know if alpha, comma, beta are the roots of the equation that the quadratic equation is 
x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equals to 0. Suppose let the one value be alpha, alpha equals to what is sine 15 root 5 minus 1 by 4 square now, so we have to square this one. Let beta be cos 60 de 36 degrees, this values root 5 plus 1 by 4 square now, let me square it. Now let me find alpha plus beta. We have to add this to we'll take LCM 4 square 16, 4 square 16, 1 by 16. Now a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Just now we have done a square plus b square plus 2ab. So plus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 5 cancel. 5 plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 12 by 16, 4, 3 is a 4, 4 is a. So this is alpha, beta, alpha plus beta. We got this one. Let me find this alpha beta. Alpha beta equals to root 5 minus 1 by 4 square into root 5 plus 1 by 4 square. Whole square now we can multiply this. A minus B into A plus B is A square minus B square by 4, 4 is a 16 whole square. Now 5 root square cancel. This is 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 by 16 whole square. 4 ones up, 4 4 is up. So 1 by 4 square is 16. So let me substitute this one x square minus alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is 3 by 4 x plus alpha beta is 1 by 16 equals to 0. If you take LCM 16, 16 into x square will be 16 x square minus 4 4s are 16, 4 3s are 12 x, 16 ones are 16 equals to 0. This equals 0. So what is the answer? 16 x square minus 12 x plus 1 equals to 0. So it's the first bit. Now you see the next question. The value of cos 2 pi by 15, 4 pi by 15, 8 pi by 15. You see here, this we can change. This cos, just now we have seen already, this can be written as pi minus. Pi minus. You subtract this 15 minus 14 is 1 pi by 15, that is pi by 15. Cos 180 minus theta, this is. And you will see this value is same, 15 into pi, 15 pi minus pi, 14 pi. But cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So I am writing this first. Minus cos pi by 15. Cos, now I am writing this one, 2 pi by 15. Cos 4 pi by 15. Cos 8 pi by 15. Now for, for a while let you take pi by 15 equals to a. Pi by 15 equals to a. So how we will change this one minus cos a into cos 2 power 1a cos 2 power 2 4 squares 2 power 2 square cos 2 cube into a see here to make the formula I just explained for a while you suppose this 15 by pi equals to a so this will be cos a cos 2a cos 4 is 2 square a for now this is the formula here written what is the formula of this equals to this you write minus as it is sine to the 2 to the power of n plus 1 n is 3, n is 3 here, n is the power, 2 power n, no? so 3 plus 1 is 4 into x divided by, divided by, what is the formula here, 2 power n plus 1, 3 plus 1 is 4 into sine x, sine a, now let me write again the value of a, minus sine, 2 power 4 is 16, a is pi by 15, divided by, 16a is sine pi by 15. Now let me solve this stepwise minus sine. You see here, this can be written as pi plus pi by 6, 15. Now same that one. 16 pi by 15. You see here, this is same. 15 pi plus 15 into pi is 15 pi plus pi, 16 pi. Why we wrote like this? Now sine 180 minus theta is minus sine theta sine 180 minus theta is minus sine theta so if you take out this minus 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 will become plus sine pi by 15 divided by 16 sine pi by 15 now this will get cancelled what is the answer here 1 by 16 is the answer now you see the next question sine 12 sine 24 sine 48 sine 84 see here just we will Use this formula sine a sine 60 minus a sine 60 plus a. You take these two values. What is here sine 12 sine 
48 can be written as 60 minus 12. But 60 plus 12 is 72. We don't have 72. So let me multiply this 60 plus 12. And let me divide this by sign 60 plus 12 is 72. So we finish this. Similarly, you go from here. Consider this as A. So this will be sign A. This is sine 60 plus A. Sine 60 plus 64. We don't have 60 minus A. So let me multiply with sine 60 minus A is 24 here. We have to divide also sine 60 minus A. So this is sine 36, no? 60 minus 2. Once more I am saying, watch carefully. Combining these two, we we'll get the formula. Suppose this is sine A. This is sine 60 minus 12, we can write. We don't have sine 60 plus 12, so multiply by sine 60 plus 12 and divide by sine 60 plus 12. Similarly, sine A, 24, suppose. This is 60 plus 24. We don't have 60 minus 24, multiply and divide. Now, this 3 will become, what is the formula for this? Formula for this is 1 by 4 sine 3 into A, 3 into, what is A here? 12. In the same way, this is also formula. This is also 1 by 4. Let me take 4 here. Sin 3 into A is 24 divided by what we are having? Sin 72, sin 36. Now this is sin 2, 3, 12, so 36, 36, 36 will get cancelled. 3, sorry. Now 3 into 24 is 72. Sin 72 cancel. What is left here? 1 by 16. So we don't have 1 by 16 here. But now you watch here. Let me make this also formula. Sine 20. Cos way. Cos 20. Cos. This can be written as 60 minus 20. 60 minus 20. And this can be written as cos 60 plus 20. Now what is left here? Cos 60. We know the value of cos 60 is 1 by 2. Now this is the formula. Just same formula. Cos A. Cos 60 minus A. Cos 60 plus A is 1 by 4 cos 3a, 3 into 20 here, 3 into 20, 3 20 is a 60, into 1 by 2, so this is 1 by 8, 4 to side, cos 60 is 1 by 2, this is 1 by 60, so we got this value and this value same, so this will be the a, b is the answer. Now you see the next question, 180 degrees less than theta, less than 270 degrees, third quadrant. Now you see here sine theta is given as minus 3 by 5. Let me take the values of theta. We know this is opposite by hypotenuse. And adjacent will be 4. We know adjacent is 4. Now what is the question cos theta? Wait. You see here we are having a formula cos square a by 2 equals to plus or minus under root of 1. Sorry. Cos square a by 2 is 1 plus cos a by 2. If you take out square here, you will have plus or minus under root. So cos a by 2 equals to plus or minus under root of. Let me write theta. So this will be 1 plus cos theta by 2. Now plus or minus depends on the quadrant of theta. What is we are having? 180 degrees less than theta less than 270. Divide each term by 2. So that will be a 180 by 2 is 90 degrees less than theta less than by 2 less than theta by 2. Divide each term by 2 to get theta by 2. 135 degrees. Watch carefully. We want here theta by 2. So for theta by 2, we will have the value how to get theta by 2. Divide each term by, by 2. So this will be 90 less than theta by 2. So this means theta by 2 lies in second quadrant. Between 90 and 135, we will have the second quadrant. This will be 90 and 135 degrees second quadrant. So for second quadrant, we have cot cos negative. Therefore, we take only minus value. So let me substitute this cos theta by 2 equals to minus under root of 1. Now what will be the cos theta here? Cos theta equals to adjacent by hypotenuse 4 by 5. But watch carefully. This is third quadrant. Theta lies in third quadrant for third cos is minus. So let me use here 1 plus cos theta. Cos theta is minus 4 by 5 by 2. So this will be minus under root of 5 ones are 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. By bring this 5 here, 5 twos are 10. So this will be minus 1 by root 10. 
minus 1 by root 10. So this is the first answer. Now you see the next question. If a equals to sine square theta plus cos power 4 theta, then for all values of theta, where we want the range of a actually, it means we don't want the range of this. You see here I'm writing like this. a equals to sine square theta plus cos power 4 theta, we can write cos square theta into cos square theta. 1 cos theta, we can write 1 minus sine square theta. Cos power 4 theta is cos square theta into cos square theta. Cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. Now multiply this one sine square theta plus cos square theta into 1. Cos square theta minus cos square into sine square. Sine square theta cos square theta. This is 1. Now see your next step. Now let me divide and multiply by 4. Divide by multiply and multiply by 4. Dividing by 4. Now multiplying 4 minus 2 square, now we can write like this, 2 sine theta cos theta whole square. Dividing by 4, multiplying by 4 minus 2 square, that is 2 sine theta cos theta. So 2 sine a cos a is sine 2 a, you will get like this, 1 minus 1 by 4 sine square 2 theta. We know the sine theta, its range is minus 1 comma 1. But if you apply sine square theta, so minus values will not get... So its range will be 0 to 1. So that means one value we can have here minimum value. Here 0 and maximum value of this is 1. Let me substitute. Okay. For, suppose sine 2 theta equals to suppose 0. Then what you will get a equals to 1 minus 1 by 4 into 0. That is 1. Now if you keep maximum value sine 2 theta equals to 1. This will be a equals to 1 minus 1 by 4. This is 3 by 4. So always range should be written as minimum value less or equals to a less or equals to max value. This is the minimum because this is smaller. So therefore 3 by 4 less or equals to a less or equals to 1. So this is the second bit 3 by 4 less or equals to a less or equals to 1. The next question, what is the value of cosec 15 plus second 15? Cosec 15 can be written as 1 by sine 15 plus 1 by cos 15. See here, 1 by sine 15 is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 that will come in the numerator. Plus, in the same way, 2 root 2 by, this is cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. So, let me take out 2 root 2 outside. What is left here? 1 by root 3 minus 1 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1. If we take LCM, this will come here, this will come here. Let me take LCM 2 root 2 into, what is LCM root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1. So, you come, this will be here root 3 plus 1 plus root 3 minus 1. So, this minus 1 plus 1 cancel. A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. That is 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, this 2, 2 will get cancelled. What is left here? Root 2 into root 3 plus root 3, 2 root 3. So, you root, write 2 as it is. 2, 3 is a 6 root 6, 2 root 6. 2 as it is. Root 2 into root 3 will be root 6. This is 2 root 6. See here very easy question. Tan 15 degrees is 2 minus root 3 plus tan 75 can be written as cot 90 minus or you can write like this tan 75 is nothing but tan 90 minus 15. So tan 90 minus theta is cot theta cot 15 is you must pay her this. This is 2 plus root 3. So minus root 3 plus root 3 cancel. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now let me make this the last question. You see here sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 plus sin theta 3 equals to 3. Just by looking we can say that the maximum value of sin is 1. So this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. That is theta 1 should be 90 degrees same as theta 2 same as theta 3 because sin 90 is 1 sin 90 is 1 sin 90. So theta 1 theta 2 2 theta 3 should be 90 degrees. Now apply here cos theta 1 means 90 degrees cos 90 degrees plus cos 90 degrees but cos 90 is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 so we have completed the 60 questions inshallah we are going to continue in the next class so i request all the students to like this uh, share and subscribe my channel and also i request to you to you to share this with your friends of your college